be seated and will all the children please come forward. <laughs> Whether they want to go to Sunday school following this or if they'll be going back to their parents either way, please come up and join the circle of love. It's so great to see all these familiar faces and new faces as we begin another season. How many of you started school? Right, well today you start school again, we call it Sunday school. And today I want to teach you about a word known as joy. Jesus prayed that his followers would have joy in them. Joy from him. And I, because it's Sunday school, I might as well do a little teaching, right? So there's a thing called an acronym, which is a word that starts with the first letters of various words, and it makes one word. So let's think of joy like an acronym. So it's going to stand for three different words. What's the first word in joy? Jesus. What's the second letter in joy? Oh, right. Let's call that others. And what do you think the Y stands for? You. Jesus, others, you. As we live each day in that order by focusing on Jesus first and then others and then ourselves, that blessing called joy fills our lives. And joy is not the same thing as being happy, although being happy is great. Joy is a much deeper experience than just being happy. It's about knowing that God is with you no matter what you're going through. I've decided that since it's a new season of joy, we'll do something really fun and joyous. And it's called the Sermon in the Treasure Box. Now you're going to love this because all the hard work is on me. You get to have all the fun. So what I'm going to do is send this box home to a different family each week and you and your parents or your caregivers can decide which single object you want to put in the treasure box. And then when you bring it back the next week, I won't know what's in there. I will open it, and I have to come up with a sermon on the spot about it. <laughs> you really want to see Father Joe maybe fall in his face, right? <laughs> and I think we're going to film it. So people who go to the 8 o'clock service or people who don't even go to this church can watch it and say, what's he going to do? <laughs> sounds pretty hard, but it also sounds pretty fun and pretty joyous. What do you think? You want to do that. I think we're all going to get a chance to do it this year. And the first family that's going to take it will be the honors. So Caden and Adeline, here's the treasure box. I'll tell you that it's not. I want you to pick out one object this week and bring it back. And after I give my little sermon, hopefully I give it, then I'm going to ask you, why did you choose that object? And you'll tell me, and all of us, why that object is meaningful to you. How does that sound? So we're going to rely upon the Holy Spirit in a new and exciting way. The one who says, I make all things new. So each week there will be something new going on in this church, among many other things. And I'm excited about it. How about you? All right. Yes, okay. Well, let's pray. Lord, we praise you and we clap for joy, knowing that you, Jesus Christ, are with us, that you call us to love you and others, and yes, ourselves, in that order. And may you guide us in all of our children now, in your 